So, how do you install the official Google Chrome on your Ubuntu 22.04 system? Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys how to install uh, Google Chrome, the official package on your Ubuntu system or a Debian based system. I'll show you guys that right now. So let's go ahead on and switch over to our virtual machine so I can walk you guys through this very simple process so you can use that version of Google Chrome that you use on the Windows operating system right on your Ubuntu system or Debian based distribution. Okay, so this Ubuntu 22.04 and it by default, it comes with Firefox. But let's say you want to install Google Chrome on your system. So let's open up the browser, uh, which is Firefox, like I stated. But let's say you want to have that option to use Chrome on this system. Well, let's walk through the process of installing it. And it's very simple. It's simple. It's similar to installing something on Windows. That's the way Linux has kind of made it or Ubuntu Canonical has actually kind of made it uh, to where a lot of packages can be installed just like on a Windows operating system, just to make the transition a little bit easier for Windows users. And this is across the board on most Linux operating systems. There are packages out there. It just all depends on if your distribution supports the package or not. All right, cool. So let's just type Chrome in right fast. And we're basically gonna go to the official Google site to download Chrome. And that, like I said, it's, this is the simplest way to actually do it. Uh, all you have to do is hit download Chrome right there. Uh, and it's going to ask you what you what you're installing it on what it automatically recognizes that you're using a version of Linux. Uh, and as you can see, it's supported by Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE. And there are two different packages. So the dev packages are for Debian and Ubuntu systems. And then the RPMs are for Fedora and OpenSUSE. SUSE. And like I said, we're using the dev package. So all we have to do is hit accept. And what we want to do is download the package and it should should start downloading automatically just like on Windows you know what I'm saying and it'll download to our downloads location and it looks like it downloaded pretty quick so let's go on and um, just minimize the browser the current browser and open up our home directory and then go to our downloads directory and we should have yes as you can see we have that uh google chrome dev and it looks like i downloaded it twice uh and yeah this is the duplicate so let's move that one to the trash and all we have to do is right click on it hit open with other application uh and it should have defaulted to open by software install but it didn't so we had to go in and select it but you have to uh, open it up with the software manager and you'll see it pop up in a second uh, once we open it up so this is the basically the software center and what it says right there Google Chrome stable you know the web browser from Google and all we have to do is hit install from there and that will install our package let's type in our pseudo password and we know that this came from Google because uh, we downloaded directly from the Google website. Uh, so it says potentially unsafe uh, because it is provided by third party, which is Google. You know what I'm saying? But it's coming from Google, so you can pretty much trust it. And just to explain what these dev packages do, it pretty much adds a PPA and then install the application on there. Uh, similar to how we manually do it uh, like in my previous video or one of my previous videos I added a PPA uh, you know added the key and all that good stuff to update the package well that's essentially what this dev package is doing it's just doing it automatically for you so let's go down and uh, close out the software center because it looks like it finished installing uh, and we can close that we can close that and we should be able to look in our applications and see the Chrome browser. There we go. So Google Chrome, bam. So let's open it up, make uh, Google Chrome as the default. If you want to, I'll just leave that checked. Um, but there we go. We have Google Chrome installed on our Ubuntu system. Uh, and that's essentially how you do it. Now, there are a few other ways to install it. 
<clears throat> and I believe there is a package for Chrome on here. Uh, let's just search right fast and see. Uh, I know there's Chromium. Uh, that'll probably pop up at the top. Um, looks like it's not up there. Yeah, there we go. So Chromium is on here, but uh, not sure where Chrome is. But there is a Chrome. Well, that's Chrome OS. Um, so maybe it's not in here. So you do have to install it this way. Uh, I thought they had a package in here or a snap pack. Uh, maybe they don't or it appears that they don't. So uh, we're just going to close that out. But um, that's how you install Chrome. And this will work on pretty much the Ubuntu and Debian uh, distributions, base distributions. Uh, and then as you can see, they did have that Fedora and open Suzy version, the RPM package that you can install pretty much works the exact same way, but for those distributions. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And if you want to support the channel, go on and uh, check out my Patreon. Um, it's basically set up right now where you are just simply donating to the channel because uh, I rarely post much, many, much content specifically for the Patreon community. Uh, and so the people that are over there or supporters of the channel and everything they put over there on Patreon, it goes right back into the channel. And then also I have, uh, you know, the membership turned on on my channel as well. Uh, so if you guys want to support the channel that way, uh, you can as well. But I hope you guys have a good day. And of course, keep it techie.